In this video of molecular biology, we will be discussing about the genes or their proteins that regulate the apoptosis, in which we include two types of genes, pro-apoptotic genes and anti-apoptotic genes. And you know pro-apoptotic genes are those genes which promote the apoptosis, while as anti-apoptotic genes are those genes which inhibit the apoptosis. Here in this video, we will be more focused towards the BCL2 family of proteins. First of all, we'll organize the genes according to the role in apoptosis and their function in apoptosis. The first important gene or its protein is BCL2, B cell lymphoma 2. So what role it plays in apoptosis is that it inhibits the apoptosis. So it is anti-apoptotic gene. And its function is to prevent the apoptosis by inactivating two types of genes or two types of proteins, that's bugs and bag proteins. These are the pro-apoptotic proteins which helps in releasing the cytochrome C from mitochondria. The second important gene or its protein is the BCL XL that is B cell lymphoma extra large. It also inhibits the apoptosis because its function is to render the mitochondrial pores impermeable. Thus it prevents the releasing of pro-apoptotic factors from mitochondria like cytochrome C is not released. Then we have BAX gene or Bux. That is BCL2 associated X protein. Unlike the ABO2 genes, it promotes the apoptosis. So it is pro apoptotic gene. Its function is to simply oppose the function of BCL2 gene. It forms oligomeric pore in mitochondrial outer membrane, thus releasing the pro apoptotic factors like cytochrome C, and also it has been observed to help in opening the VDAC channels in mitochondria. Another gene we see is the BAK gene or BAK gene, BCL2 homologous antagonist killer. It also promotes apoptosis like BAK gene. Its function is same as BAK gene because it works along with the BAK. Then we have another gene that is BAD gene or BAD gene or its protein, BCL2 associated death promoter. It exists in two forms, phosphorylated BAD and dephosphorylated BAD. The phosphorylated BAD is anti-apoptotic factor while as dephosphorylated BAD is pro-apoptotic factor. If we see their function, we see the phosphorylated BAD protein does not show any interaction with BCL2 protein. So in this case, BCL2 function is not disrupted. And we know BCL2 is anti-apoptotic factor, so it continues to do its work. But in case of dephosphorylated BAD, the BAD heterodimerizes with BCL2 protein and renders BCL2 in its inactive form. So when BCL2 is inactive, the BAX gene or BAX protein is activated and it initiates the apoptosis by releasing the cytochrome C factors that are pro-apoptotic factors. Then we have another gene that's BID gene, BH3 interacting domain death agonist. This is also pro-apoptotic gene and its function is to insert box into mitochondrial outer membrane so that it forms oligomeric pores in it with which cytochrome C is released from mitochondria thus initiating the apoptosis also. Furthermore, we have several other factors or genes that regulate apoptosis. Like we have BIM, Puma, Noxa which are all pro-apoptotic genes. Now let's classify these BCL2 family of genes according to the domains present in its structure. There are three class of BCL2 family of proteins. First is the anti-apoptotic BCL2 proteins. Second class is the pro-apoptotic which is BH123 protein. Third one is also the pro-apoptotic protein but this one is BH3 only protein. You might be wondering what this BH3 only and BH123 protein is. These are the BH domains, BCL2 homology domains present on the structure of protein which we will see later on in this video. Now let's see some examples that exist in these classes. The first is the anti-apoptotic proteins which include BCL2 and BCL-XL protein, while as pro-apoptotic with BH123 includes box and back. And finally the pro-apoptotic proteins having BH3 only domain are BAD, BIM, BID, PUMA and NOXA. Now let's jump towards the structural differences in accordance with these domains. The first class of proteins that is the anti-apoptotic proteins have got all the four domains present. That is BH4, BH3, BH1, BH2 all are present in its structure. While as in second class of proteins that is pro-apoptotic protein with BH123 has only three domains 1, 2, 3 as in its name BH123. That means BH4 domain is absent here. 
And finally, in last class of proteins, we see only one domain is present. That's the BH3 domain. That's why these proteins are also called as BH3 only proteins. So this is how we classify these anti-apoptotic and pro-apoptotic proteins in accordance with the BH domains. So this is about the BCL2 family of proteins regulating apoptosis. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.